it's a very controversial knife. Um, honestly, I'm surprised we're seeing a knife like this from this brand. It's very cryptic. Let's just dive in. <laughs> it's probably the second most controversial thing happening in the knife community this year. For those who know what the first controversial thing is. Um, I'm Greg. I'm Josh. And this is the place where we do reviews on controversial things. Yep. Like, subscribe. Ding the bell. So you're notified every time we drop a new video. So Case has gotten into the EDC game. I mean, they've been in the EDC game for years and years and years by making one of the most known traditional knives in the world. But they've never made a knife such as this. I'm just going to go right into the reality of the situation. Um, what would you pay for an American-made flipper? With S35VM, what would you pay for an American-made flipper? Two fifty, right? Two, that's two, between two and three, yeah, or more. That's the neighborhood, right? I have to say, just from a box perspective, I know you don't buy a knife for the box, but we always talk about it. They did a great job with this box. The graphics are great, just awesome. So that, what Greg is flipping there is the red anodized aluminum Kinswa. In S35 Vion and a Tonto yep. blade shape. And the retail on this bad boy, I know we'll slide it in, but it's part of the conversation, is 116 from Smoky Mountain Life Works. Is that? That's their, that's that's retail. That's the full price that's of this. Retail. That's not bad. Are you kidding? Now, um, go ahead, dive in. Let's, what's the... Uh, What's, what's the first Smooth. thing? Ergos? Well, let's just chat about it for you a second. You want to chat about it for a second? Um, S35, U.S. made. Yep. Cool name. Uh, we were just discussing it. I think, you know, they probably named it after the Kinswood Bridge, right? In Pennsylvania. In, in Pennsylvania, because yep. they're out of Bradford, Pennsylvania. So, yep. um, interesting pocket clip. Um, cool standoffs. It's a deep carry style pocket clip um, with the folded over. And actually, like, a lot of blade real estate there. It's a lot. Look how thick it is. That shocked me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're getting... I mean, you're getting a ton of knife. From Case, man. So, so weird. And uh, it's a Tonto. It's like... Like, I, I feel like you like, would more see this type of knife from, like, a Benchmade. Yes. Not, right? Not so much Case. Right. Case went and hired somebody that used to work at Benchmade and made this. We don't know that. That's a joke. This is not a statement from Case. No. Or smoking about knife work. Um, yeah, let's let's jump in. Ergos. Ergos. All right. So this is um this is an EDC sized blade, right? Um, oh my goodness. Well, we'll run in the dimensions, but good length for EDC task, but it is not an EDC style shape. Right? No. There's no belly. It's extremely straight. Um, it's an interesting take on a Tonto. Uh, I mean, I, I like it. It's, it definitely has That's a strong boring. tip. What? It's got to yeah. be right. It's around three inches. Right? Does it say on the box? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, we'll roll it in. Um, as far as fitment in the hand, it's really, really good. That is a solid finger choil. And it fits my meat hook. That's good. So, you know, um, you know, look, the, the rolled over pocket clip is pretty big as far as the height. Yeah, and it's reversible. It is reversible. And you can definitely feel that as far as a hot spot is concerned. I would say that it's that's probably the only negative on the ergos for me. I can feel that. When you, here, you'll be able to feel it. No, yeah, I can feel it. I felt it just a second ago. I do think the finger twill is a little tight for me. Okay. And you got bigger fingers than me, but like it's it's your fingers in there, like it's it's comfortable. It's not going anywhere. But it's tight, and the flipper tab works as a tang, just like it should. Um, honestly, with it being a case knife and how sleek it is, I might even consider removing the pocket clip. Oh, I see what you mean. You can almost go traditional. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, my concern generous is, gimping. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there are so many elements to this. 
I, you know, I'll give the Ergos on this an eight. I think that uh, it fits well in the hand. It, uh, you know, I don't know. There's not a lot to complain about. It's good. It's good. This, this is this is hotter than it should be, in my right. opinion. Most pocket clips don't don't hit you that hard. I would say that's the biggest negative on the Ergo. Yeah, I'm actually, um, I can see where you go with an eight, but for me, just being straightforward, like it, it, it pushes when I'm holding it. I feel like it's pushing this finger under this finger because it's so tight. Like I really want to hold it more up. For me, this is just my personal opinion. I'm gonna go with the six um, pocket clip. The tightness there for me, and um, just in general, like it's it's not very grippy. Um, but I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Totally different than Greg's. Yep. All right. So what's next? Tactical. No. No. Oh, EDC. EDC. <laughs> I feel like we do that every time. Every what's time. next? So EDC is very EDCable. Yeah, it's not super duper thick, but it's thick enough that it feels good. It is ergonomic enough. It, you know, that's a tactical blade. Yeah, that's interesting from Case getting a tactical blade. Getting a tactical. Now, blade does this shape. does this knife have multiple blade options, or is this the only blade shape for this knife right In now? In this one, this is the only one. They do really? have a larger drop point. That's a different blade name. Right. Yeah. You know, we'll probably do end up doing a review on that as well. So, but this is actually mine. This is mine. And I just really like the finish work on it. I really enjoy the red, the red that they chose. It's very tour like in its finish, and then the B roll will be able to roll that in. But yeah, from an EDC standpoint, it's lightweight. It only weighs three and a half ounces. So I think from an EDC, it's probably an eight for me as well. Mm -hmm. So. Lightweight, good ergos. It functions really, really well. I like the length of it, the length of the blade. So, I actually do think tactical was next. Now that I'm thinking about it, not that it matters, but you might be right. Um, EDC. The only thing that bugs me is that it's Tonto blade. I mean, it's super EDC, but if it would have been like a drop point or had any kind of belly, it yeah, would have been that's hyper true. EDC. Yeah, yeah. It could have been very well. Uh, You're a bit of a Tontoist, though. Tontoist. <laughs> um, I'll, I'm going to go seven. Yep. Um, I already knew. I already knew. <laughs> well, only because there's no... No, I'm with you. There is no belly. And it is a... It is a that is the only reason. It is an Americanized strict Tonto, right? Right. The straight edges, you know. Now, one of the nice things about that for EDC is if you're going to carry a straight edge, is it's really good, like opening a box with, and it's really good at draw right. cuts because that straight edge. And it's is a so really good. small tanto when you think about it. That tanto tip's not huge. Right, but it's but it's going to be super strong because there's not a lot of right. sort of angle just out there creating a fine, fine, fine tip. So, and the thought this this thock, the stock is so thick. It is very thick. It's going to be very durable. Yeah, big so you, chunk. Of I would not be. I would not be concerned about breaking that tip. Does off. it run on uh, ball bearings or washers? Do you I know? Did, I didn't disassemble it. Can we see? Flashlight. I don't think you can see. No. I'll take a look just to make sure I can't see in there. I'm sure I'll have all that in the specs. I believe. I believe that is a. I believe that's a ball bearing. Because it makes it sense with like it being a flipper. It looks like it's recessed. Yep. With it being a flipper, I I, I could see it being the ball bearing. Yeah, it is, and that's yeah, that's definitely ball bearing. Yeah, and it's actually recessed like a lot of ball bearings mm -hmm. are inside. So there's an actual groove cut out for it to sit rather than it resting on the surface, mm -hmm. which is important with aluminum handled knives. Yeah. Right. Because you don't want that, you know, aluminum getting gouged and chewed up. So there you go. Tactical. Tactical. It's you know, pretty dang tactical. Pretty dang tactical. Which is so hilarious that it's a case knife. Um, you know, and I'm just really kind of shocked that case went this this way. Yeah, I am too. It's... And interesting that they chose red. Because, I mean, this is not a broad. These new EDC, this new EDC line is not broad. It's really just two knives and two colors. Right? Yeah. Red and yeah. blue. I think. I have to 
look it up, but I, they may even have a black in the other one. I'm not sure, but the the tacticalness of this, it's not going anywhere because of that flipper tab, yeah. and its deployment is pretty quick. Right. You know, it's it's a little, it's just a touch small for tactical. Well, I don't know. That length is pretty good, and it's narrow. I mean, mm -hmm. gosh, that is tactical. I, I have a hard time giving a case knife a tactical rate. <laughs> like, it doesn't compute. It's it's like this is this is a tactical blade. It's an eight out of ten for me on tactical. It could probably even go a little further than that, but it is it's definitely a tactical blade. There's no question. Yeah. It's it's as fast as a flipper tab can be, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean eight out of ten for me as well. I mean it's kinda hard to argue with such a long tanto blade. I mean It would have been epic if it was wave. Yeah. On top of that, to really give it, I mean, to be, if it were a wave, it would be a nine out of 10 and just, a, it, would be, it would be encroaching on 10. The interesting thing is, is nobody's going to buy this knife thinking tactical though. Uh, well, unless, be they, unless they look at it and say, oh, that's a tactical knife. I'd be interested you know to mean? know how many of these have, they've moved as of yet. Like, I wonder how many has been sold. Yeah, it's a good question. Because it, it's so not typical case. Well, anytime, anytime. I see a knife that I think is cool. I'm like, oh, I better get it now. It's going to sell out. And that's not always necessarily the case. I thought that, for pun, instance, pun, no pun <laughs> I thought that the um, the baby bullet, the Remington knife made by GEC was going uh -huh. to sell out within hours. And I got it as soon as it hit the website and it's still on stock. Yeah. I think it's popular, but yeah, I don't think that people look well, at that's... case this way. And the question is, how are people going to go with a traditional brand coming out with an EDC tactical line. Are they going to, to do that? Yeah, we'll talk about the edge. Yeah, part of the course. Yeah, that's Case, right? Case is not known for mirror polished perfect edges. And quite frankly, this is a budget American made tactical. Knife. It really is. But uh, the finish quality is a lot higher, I think, than... The finish quality is well, excellent. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Cool factor. Cool factor. I think it's really cool that Case came out with this. Yeah. And cool factor has a lot to do with what is cool about the whole concept and the idea, not just the product itself. I think it's cool that Case is coming out into the modern world with some EDC and tactical oriented knives. Well, it shows progression. It shows that they've gotten some people in the company now that's making some decisions. It's thinking, hey, you know, we've got this, you know, brand that's been around. It's got value. People respect our brand. Let's expand it a little bit. And it's a very Americanish looking take on a Tonto. It's not a sort of, a, it doesn't look like it's trying to accomplish anything else, right? It looks like an American version just with its flats the way it is. Yeah, from a cool factor, I think it's pretty cool. I would give it probably a seven mm -hmm. and we're really judgy on cool factor, you know, because we have the coolest knives made, you know, from an automatic standpoint, they, there's a lot more cool out there. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Overall. I think it's cool because it's especially, case. especially because it's case that, right. that raises that knife in of itself as a cool knife with that sort of like, you can because you, you can get this knife, this design, quite frankly, from Kershaw all day long. You've been able to get this knife design for many years, right? So from a cool or something very close to something it. very similar to this for a long time, from any country, and so I think that probably the product itself would be maybe like a five or a six out of ten of cool factor. Yeah. But the fact that Case is doing it, they have some cool way with their anodization that I thought. Yeah. I really like that. It has depth to it. Yeah. So I yeah, think, I think that's a fair number. They're. I'm gonna say eight. Um, their finish is really cool. Like you said, um, the I mean, fact that it's Case is cool, and mm -hmm. they chose a, a great blade steel. Um, for EDC, like it's just it shows progression, and this is going to be like a really big collector's item in you know fifty years. Yeah. When talking about case, but this one. case is highly highly collectible. It's the first one. I know they had their Tech X series. I believe that was imported, and it was just kind of a almost like a gimmick. Mm -hmm. This is not a gimmick. This is real. This is an actual 
you know knife you would want to carry. It's and, interesting. I would like to I would like to investigate just the company a little bit more and yeah. see kind of you know who. Who decided to pull the trigger on this? Who designed the knife? Did they hire somebody that came from right. another knife company to design the knife? Um, it's just a very cool progression for Case. And, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with the finish quality, um, which, you know, it's Case. Um, I would say this finish quality is better than some of the other traditional cases that I've held. Yeah, you know, I because at the end of the day, Case is, is in reality a budget knife. Let me see that. And yeah, the 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 one thing about the finish quality on this is the detent hole is larger than the detent ball. And they stamped it. It's not printed. It is it is stamped. It is their case engraving. That is really cool. Um, so you know, look, you, you can you have a little bit, and we're just being totally transparent. Just a touch of play here. It's not the it's not a deal breaker for me, especially at the price point. And the reason for that is that the the hole for you know, the detent ball is a little larger than the detent ball. The blade shape of that is so similar to that Gerber Propel that we reviewed, that it we is. did for Christmas in July. Because it's an American Tonto. But like the, the length, the size, and everything, mm -hmm. finish, everything. It's yeah. very similar, except that one's stamped, not printed. <laughs> yes. I do like the fact that they kept that. And the case logo is epic. Yeah, this is going to look great on Instagram. I'm looking forward to shooting it. Yeah, I, I would. I would like to see a non-polished stone wash. I believe that that would be something. Even if they did, because Case will do all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I would do a limited run with their black. You know, yeah. the, the black heavy stone wash. I would I, that on well, the, almost uh, looks like it's acid etched. Yeah, it's that acid etched deep dark that would be epic on this yeah that's next level on this i'm excited to see where they take it because case likes to take and and make all kinds of different how variations. cool would that be you could you know i could imagine something with an inlay imagine if they they combined the worlds and made like a stag stag scales or something oh that'd be crazy. an edc knife with traditional scales yeah how could they do the, the, the possibilities are endless because people aren't really merging those very much no. what they're doing is they're taking slip joints and doing modern right but they're not taking tactical and edc doing traditional as right much. you don't see a lot of you that. don't see a lot of that yeah i have uh, an m Custa that i recently got that has a wooden handle with uh it's vg10 core damascus steel blade and it's neat because it has it's rare to see a solid wooden handle executed well right. but it's beautiful yeah you know it'd be interesting to see them do this so overall I think seven. Seven. Which is really great yeah. for cases for rollout of an EBC it knife, yep. especially with that price point. Yep. I'd like to see that detent set up on the on the entry better. Okay. Let's just be totally and frank. I'd like to see a better honestly, edge. Honestly, with just knowing it's cases, usable, but it's not knowing cases as finish as quality, it's it's probably uh, like that could be just a few of them that have that detent. It Some could, of them yeah, might be tighter. It might be. It might be. It feels like to me, though, with stuff like this, this machine, it's a tolerance issue. If I were to guess, it's not a big deal. It's it, but it is there, and I want to be transparent. Let you guys know, for a hundred and fifteen bucks, though, are you kidding me right now? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you this: I'd pick that up over some other brands. I would too, especially the cool fact, the fact that it's a case, mm -hmm. right? It's a case knife. I really, really dig it. I, I'm glad that Case is gone. Can you dig it? Had to. Yes. Kind of like Gandalf, though. Yes, indeed. So, <laughs> I like the execution. The, you know, they were smart because they did put the, um, the metal insert so the frame lock will sustain. Right. All right. You don't want aluminum it or titanium. Fail. Right. You, you just yeah, it won't fail. So. Awesome. Good like job, it. Case. Good job, for sure. Guys, hope you appreciated this review of Case's new Kinzua EDC knife. Yes, pick uh, one up. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really cool knife. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. We always appreciate, appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Stay sharp. Stay sharp.